Intergalactic garbage retrieval craft number 60022, known around the galaxy as a space arc, finds itself by mistake in orbit around the planet Earth. Luca, the fearless traveling investigator, is facing up to a rather different kind of investigation. Are you sure you feel all right, Luca? Yes, I just feel, well, normal. Normal? Normal? It's not what I would call normal. I've never seen anything like that before. When did you first notice it? After the third or fourth trip to Earth. There were just one or two to start with, and they were very small. But look at them now. Oh dear, you must have caught something on Earth. Caught something? Caught something? Robots don't catch things? Anyway, what happens if we catch it? Oh, don't panic, Zippy. I'm sure AI will have an explanation. What do you make of it, AI? Rust? 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 Is that all you can say? What's rust? Can we all catch it? Should he be in quarantine? Oh, get a grip on yourself, Zippy. One question at a time. I'm sure there is a simple explanation. That's right, Ponder. It's not catching. Rusting only happens to a metal called iron. Iron is the main part of a metallic material called steel. Oh, so Luca is made of steel. That's right. What about me? Am I made of steel? No, Zippy. Only Luca is made of steel. It was used as an experiment to see how it would work out. It doesn't seem to have worked out very well. I'm afraid you're right, but it wasn't expected that you would be going to the one place in the universe where the conditions would be right for Russ. I knew it! It's far too dangerous a place for you to go to. What did you mean when you said that the conditions on Earth are right for rust? Well, to get iron or steel to rust, you need water and air. But how do you know that iron or steel need air and water to make rust? Well, when Luca was designed, the information about rusting was put into my database. Let me show you the test. In the first test tube, a steel screw. The heat drives the water away. A cork to make sure no water can get back in. So this tube has air in it, but no water. That's right. And in the second test tube, boiling the water drives the air away. An identical steel screw. Covering the water with oil... I know, I know. Covering the water with oil stops any air getting back in. So this tube has water, but no air in it. Yes, but in the third test tube, with an identical steel screw, there is both air and water. The problem is, what happens next? Hm, that's easy, that's easy. You said that steel needs air and water before it rusts. So, the steel screw in the third test tube should rust. It takes a few hours, but as you can see, in the first test tube with no water, no rust. In the second test tube with no air, Again, no rust. In the third test tube, with both water and air, the steel has started to rust. OK, OK, so if you know how it's caused, you'll know how it's cured. I am afraid it's not as simple as that. Which translated means you don't know. I knew it, I knew it! You never have the information when we need it. I'm afraid Luca will have to go down and find out. Oh, but he can't do that. You said yourself he'll be exposed to more air and water, and so he'll get rustier. We don't want that. Rusting is a very slow process. It takes a long time. Going down to Earth one more time won't make any real difference. Well, I'm not happy about it. Don't worry. If AI says it's all right, then it's all right by me. Let's go. Let's go. But where's he going to go? We don't want him wasting too much time down there. My information is that the biggest use of steel is in motor cars. I have programmed the probe to find a place where there are cars and rust. On my way. This looks like the place. All the cars seem to have some rust on them. Some of them are even spotty like me. Perhaps this is where they get treated. Look at that car, Luca! Wow! 
Was that something? Or was that something? Let's see another one, Luca. Oh, I really don't think this is the right place for Luca. That's right. This is a scrapyard where old cars are broken up to be used again. Oh, but Luca is too young to be broken up and reused. He needs to find a place where they can treat rusty cars. I have now found such a place and reprogrammed the probe. Off you go, Luca. Oh, but do be careful. On my way. This looks a more likely place. There's no crusher here. More's the pity. Zippy! I found two sorts of spots. These where the paint has come off. This is caused by stones hitting the paint and chipping it off. Which means air and water can get to the metal and it rusts. That's right. And as you can see, the rust is on the surface, on the outside. And these, where the paint has come up in little bubbles. Now, these little bubbles of paint hide an altogether different problem. The paint hasn't been damaged from the outside, but underneath there is a lot of rust. So if the paint wasn't damaged, the rust must have started on the inside. And if it did start on the inside, the rust must have eaten right through the metal. And there's the hole, right through. Luca, Luca, what are your spots like? I seem to have both types. <gasps> Which means you're full of holes. Oh. What are we going to do? That's useful, that's useful. What do you mean, that's useful? Well, when he gets back, we can reuse him as a de-strainer. <laughs> uh, before we do something we may regret, I think I should remind you that Luca's condition is treatable. Oh, but how? Well, the first step in any treatment is to get rid of the rust. That is most important. It can be cut out. Cut out? Cut out? You mean surgery? Ooh, let's see some surgery, Luca. Zippy? Surgery is certainly not for Luca. His spots are not as serious as that. Don't worry, Bonda. I'll keep well clear. A second way to remove rust is to use a sandblaster. Sand is blown out of the nozzle at very high speed. Oh, you'll like that. You'll like that. You know how ticklish she is. Well, I'm not too sure. It looks too rough to me. Isn't there another way? Yes. First, the flaky rust is scraped away. Then the rest of the rust is simply rubbed away. The holes are filled and then... Oh, oh I know. I know. They paint it. That's right. They do. With six layers. Oh. So covering the steel with paint protects it. That's it, that's it. Paint stops the air and the water from getting at the steel, so it can't rust, unless it gets chipped again. But the paint is on the outside. When there are holes, the rust started on the inside. So how do they protect that? They're doing something here to the inside. The inside is covered with a special oily, waxy substance. Once the metal is covered, the air and water cannot get to the metal. Well. It looks as though I can get treatment from my rust spots here. <gasps> You'll do no such thing. Get back to the Ark straight away. And when we've had a chance to go over what you've discovered, we'll decide what's best for you. On my way. There's a wide range of support material for this series, including videos. To find out more, please ring BBC Education Information on 0181 746 1111.